Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an ultimate meal prep meal plan and a grocery haul guide along with some stock items that I keep in the house. I hope I give you guys all of the inspiration and organization ideas for today. Hi you guys, welcome back. Like I said, today we're doing a get it all done with me. And first we're going to start off with my grocery haul. So let's hop on into the grocery haul and then I'm going to show you the fine details of like how I plan out my meals in two week increments, how I budget, and how I go grocery shopping for those items that I need on my meal list, but also like universal things that I need to keep in the house. Okay, so I had originally done a like walkthrough of this grocery haul like in real time of doing this So that's why you see my hands flailing around, but I had to speed it up for the sake of this video length I put together the ultimate video for you guys today um, Anyways, I'm just kind of showing you some of my go-to greens that I get. I love green peppers I love cup salads cucumbers asparagus cilantro tomatoes beef steak and Roma um, I got green apples, bananas, cheese sticks, applesauce. I got nor um, onion, like nor onion soup mix, or Lipton onion soup mix and nor vegetable mix because I'm doing spinach dip. Um, got some beef stew mix, curry powder, um, shredded cheese, lots of refills on my canned items, and got avocado oil, mayo, turkey snack sticks, um, I got some tortilla chips and reduced fat Triscuits because typically anything reduced fat is Weight Watchers friendly. A big thing of ranch, got some goldfish, applesauce, and I will be sharing with you guys some of these refillable applesauce containers. I got them off of Amazon, I'll have them linked down below for you guys. These are the best things since sliced bread. I've been spending 10 to $20 on GoGo -Go squeezes a week and these are saving me a fortune. You can get a 10 pack for $9.99 over on Amazon. Amazon and the applesauce is like two dollars and will fill all ten pouches with a little bit left over so Anyways getting into some of my other things. I got some Parmesan for um, Encrusted tilapia and then I got a couple of loaves of bread I got a healthier loaf and then I got a cottage bread loaf for the kids as breakfast and for PBJ's zucchini avocados limes enchilada sauce Salsa Verde, I got two different kinds, one for um, enchiladas that I'm making, and then I got one for um, dipping tortilla chips. Um, I'm going through some of my canned items here as well. I'm showing you guys that I got some whole kernel corn, cream of chicken, um, two different kinds of white beans, uh, Great Northern and cannellini beans, which cannellini beans are just white kidney beans, but I like to have white beans in the house versus um, some darker beans, but we live by that 80-20 rule, so 80% of the time I'm eating anti-inflammatory and 20% of the time I still let myself have some beans. Um, and then I also have some almond milk and half and half because I did not have oat milk for my coffee and I cannot stand almond milk in my coffee. I don't know what it is, hot or cold, I just can't stand it in my coffee. Um, so I got half and half and then I will get oat milk from Target since it's the only place in town that I can get it. Um, and then I also got some broccoli and spinach and tortellini for some recipes that I have planned for this week. Um, showing you guys my ground turkey. I got two pounds of ground turkey and then a pound of um, ground chicken. I got chicken nuggets for the kids, a 10 pound bag of chicken breasts, and then natural uh, gluten free chicken nuggets for Mike and I, pot roast and then a couple things of sour cream um, and some chicken thighs. And that it wraps it up for the massive grocery haul. This is a $200 grocery haul and I will get into the rest of the planning here in just a second for you. Okay, so now that you have seen what my grocery haul looks like, that is a $200 grocery haul and that will last us about two weeks. We may need to refill on a couple of fresh items. Now, I know that I could really hone it down and do like $150 every two weeks for my grocery budget, but we like to have a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and have as many healthy meals as we possibly can worked into the meal schedule. First things first, like when I'm like, okay, like, oh, we need to get groceries. The first thing I will do is grab my phone and I will hop into, hop into Pinterest and I will pull open my Walmart delivery app or whatever grocery delivery app you guys have, I would recommend using. What I would typically do is I will plan in like, Increments. I will plan like several meals for the same protein. For example, I like to bulk buy my chicken breast, so I will buy a 10 pound bag of frozen chicken breasts or chicken tenders, and then I will plan out many meals with that chicken. 
Um, just some other things I like to keep on hand. I just recently switched over from like lean ground beef to ground chicken and lean ground turkey. Um, I like the taste of those better. I like that they're not as like gristly and just, I don't know, like I've just been so turned off by beef lately, like ground beef anyways. I still love a steak, but okay. So the first thing that I will do is I will go into Pinterest and that is where all good things are found. So I'll go into Pinterest. I pull up my boards, which I will have my Pinterest link down below for you guys so that you can take a peek at some of my boards. Um, I'm all over the place with my personal Pinterest. It's like not for business use, so it's kind of crazy. It's all over the place, but I will tell you that I use my food board all the time and I use my Weight Watchers board all the time. Um, so I will just quickly glance through those two boards first. Um, so let me just show you like my food board. I got um, lots of really yummy ideas from this board this week. I am doing a creamy tortellini a creamy tortellini um, sausage and kale soup. It looked so good. Um, and that was just on like my main home feed. Um, on my main like food board as well, I've got like chicken jalapeno popper chili. Um, I've got some like beans and rice, cream cheese, chicken chili. I love like soups and things like that in the fall. Um, I have our instant pork tamale recipe on that main board as well. Um, just lots of really good things. Now, I like to combine I like to combine like healthy, healthier foods. Okay, I'll take like a recipe from um, like my regular food board and I will try and like healthify it. I'll try and make a normal recipe as healthy as possible or swap out some things to make it a little bit healthier, you know, like reduced fat, third fat. Um, in the past I was keto, so cutting out fat is like a new thing for me, but um, I'm now doing Weight Watchers. If you guys have been following along on my weight loss journey, um, that's been actually going very well for me. Um, I do try to stay lower carb. I just don't eat as many fats, um, and I just try to eat like just healthy, all around good food. We cut out gluten for the most part, and we tried to be anti-inflammatory as well. Um, but we live by the 80-20 rule, so 80% of the time we will follow, follow those guidelines, but 20% of the time, well, I'm still, I still had like McDonald's and Taco Bell. Granted, that was like the first time I had that, and like, oh man, I haven't had Taco Bell in like years, years, and I was like craving some nacho cheese. Don't ask, I'm not pregnant, guys. I've gotten a lot of questions on that lately. I promise you I am not pregnant. Um, but I still have those, treats and like the not so healthy things for me every once in a while french fries whatever um but i try to follow that 80 percent rule um not just for weight loss but just for all around health if you're putting good fuel into your body you're going to get out good fuel and you're going to feel better and you're not going to be tired all the time and you're going to have energy and i am i have to have good high energy because that is my job i have to be motivational and i have to talk to you guys and i have to be high energy and like I said, good energy sources in, you're going to get good energy out. So let's share a couple of my recipes from this week. Like I said, I plan in two week increments. So I will generally do like the same breakfasts every day. I try to stay away from cereal because cereal generally is not very good for you. Um, it is filled with a lot of sugar and a lot of gunk. So I try and stay away from cereals for breakfast, but I will do um, lots of eggs in the morning. So I will do like eggs on toast for the kids or eggs with English muffins for the kids. I will do English muffins, um, gluten-free English muffins. Um, I do have a regular bread like I showed you guys in this grocery haul that's only 45 calories, again with the 80-20 roll. Um, I just try and not have that every single day. Um, I like scrambled eggs with pico on top. That is normally my go-to, or I will have a protein shake, um, which I did not share the protein that I use in today's video, um, but I did not share the protein that I, that I use in that grocery haul, but I believe it's like muscle tech or something. I just got it from Target. It tastes like ice cream. It's vanilla flavored. And I will add, um, I just do like oat milk with banana and some ice cubes and I blend that up. And that is my breakfast most mornings before I go on my daily walk. Um, so my meal list, all right, let's go back to that. Um, I mostly will, okay, I will do something I will do, 
I will type up something like this in my bed. Um, I would really like to get some free printables put together for you guys um, or even like free downloads. Um, I'm trying to work out the technical logistics on that, but I think it'd be so cute to have some kind of template where it says like meals and you can go in and see some of what your go-tos are, but then add like new meals to the list or things to try, things like that. So I am planning on putting something, to, something together for you guys to try out, um, but I will put down at least 14 dinners, okay? And I try and plan around the same proteins. So, and again, I get those ideas from Pinterest and um, some of them are just go-tos that we will rotate in on a regular two-week basis. So my, my regular two-week rotation, okay? Um, and a lot of it has to do with season as well. So like summer and spring, we grill more. In the fall, in the winter, we will do more casseroles and soups and inside things and crock pot recipes. So for the next two weeks, I've got salsa verde enchiladas, white chicken chili, shrimp tacos, which you guys are going to see in today's video in a little bit. Um, cob salads, and then I just wrote down some general things. So like PBJs for the kids, eggs and toast, burrito bowls, breakfast bowls, spaghetti squash spaghetti, meatloaf muffins with sweet potato topping, pot roast, regular spaghetti, stuffed peppers, fajitas, grilled chicken and tomatoes, chicken divan, tortellini soup, blackened tilapia, and honey sriracha salmon. I will have a screenshot of this meal list if you want to do the exact same one. I will have it right here for you guys in like a split screen for you so that you can screenshot it. Save it to your photo album so that you can copy some of those meal ideas. Again, a lot of those recipes are over on my Pinterest if you guys want to know the exact recipes. Um, Anyway, that is how I plan out my meals. Once I have my meal list all done, I will hop into the Walmart grocery app because that is what I pay for um, grocery delivery. If you pay for Instacart, etc., just use whatever grocery order app you got. Um, I use Walmart because honestly, you guys, it is the cheapest. There are some things that I'm not super crazy about um, as far as like, like um quality so like meat quality i'm not super crazy about like their beef selection their ground beef i was just telling you is like super grizzly and gross um that's just a personal preference i don't i, I don't know maybe i just had a really bad experience but um there are certain things that i like to get from like our local meat market um so like pork roasts and pork butts and um, ground beef if we're going to do it. If we're going to do like good steak like ribeyes or T-bones, we will more than likely go to our local meat shop and they have some really good prices. Anyways, and also I highly recommend getting pork butt and smoking it and shredding it because you can freeze it into gallons of block baggies and you will literally have meat for so many meals um, for like a month. It's seriously, it's like one of my favorite hacks to do, but another story for another time. So then what I will do is I'll go into my grocery app and recipe by recipe, I will look through, um, the things that I need. So general things like, okay, so do I need sour cream? How are my canned items looking? Do I need milk, oat milk? Um, then I run down the list. Okay. Do I need eggs? Do I need cheese? Do I need butter? Do I need cooking spray? Do I need avocado oil? Um, and then I'll run through some of the other things like what are my kid go-tos? Do I have peanut butter and jelly on hand? Do I have loaves of bread? Okay. So get some bread for the kids and get a healthier loaf for me. Um, cheese sticks is one of my go-tos for the kids or baby bell cheeses or the laughing cow wedges with triscuits or wheat thins. Then I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. I think I mentioned it in my grocery haul, but um, I just picked up some reusable apple, applesauce packets instead of using go-go squeezes. It saves you a ton of money. Um, and I highly recommend that you guys go check it out. Again, those are linked down below for you guys. They are awesome. I highly recommend them. Um, so I will make sure that I've got applesauce on hand for them so I can fill those applesauce packets. And am I going to get the kids treats this week? Am I going to give them any frozen yogurt? Am I going to get them fudgesicles or popsicles? Or, you know, is there anything like that that I'm going to need on hand? How about fruits? So my fruits in my house, I typically keep on hand are fruits. Or 
the fruits are apples, oranges, and bananas. Oranges I'll rotate between like bigger oranges and clementines. Um, bananas, sometimes I have them on hand, sometimes I don't. Apples, I will, will rotate between Honeycrisp, Fuji, um, Gala, and gr Granny Smith apples. Granny Smith and Honeycrisp are our favorites, but they are kind of expensive. Um, so once I run through like some of those basics, which I've now told you guys what ours look like, um, and then I run through our recipe list, then I start thinking of things like, okay, so now that I've got everything down for my recipes, now, now that I have everything down for like staples in the house for the week, um, I start thinking a little bit about like lunches and breakfasts. Okay, so again, breakfasts are typically covered because I consider eggs a staple and bread a staple and butter a staple and that is typically what we have for breakfast every single morning. The thing that I like to do for breakfast is oatmeal, so I might go check the pantry and see where we're sitting at for that. Um, and then for lunches for Riker, because typically I will not have like a big lunch. I might have just like a salad. So I generally have salad stuff on hand as well, um, which again is like part of my staples. I can put together a staples list for you guys um, that I just like throw a lot of meals out of based off of those staples. Um, I can put a PDF like printable or just like downloadable type of thing for you guys. Something that you can save on Pinterest maybe. I could put it up over on the m, &M Rustics blog. A lot of different things that I could do for you guys. So just like, let me know in the comments down below what is going to be the easiest for you guys. Um, anyways, and then, like I said, a lot of it comes down to my staples and then what's in my pantry. So before this video gets way too lengthy, I'm going to hop over into the pantry and show you guys some of the typical staples that I have in the house as far as pantry items. Okay, so down here are some of the like random miscellaneous staples. I need to reorganize this, which is gonna be coming in a video Video eventually but um, down here I've just got some salsa verde for um, like I said like I always keep some of that on hand for um, enchiladas and miscellaneous recipes I've got mayo down here at all times um, if I run out of my backup mayo then I will buy more same with oil this is actually an oil from our camper because we use avocado oil um, in the camper we have vegetable oil and we never use that except for baking so I keep that down here I've got some croutons and onion strings down here I've got rolled oats saltines some bumblebee like over here like hiding behind the box I've got bumblebee tuna like ready-made tuna salad my sister got me hooked on that. It's actually pretty good. Um, and then here's the oatmeal I was talking about. Um, I've got hot chocolate in the back and some tuna packets. Canned items, this is a very well-stocked, typical looking kind of pantry for me. Um, we don't have a true pantry. We just have this like lazy Susan that we turned into a pantry when we were building the house because we didn't have an option for a pantry. Um, anyways, so this is what it looks like when it's fully stocked. And this row here, um, I've got black beans. There's actually chili beans behind these four cans of black beans And then I also have some pizza sauce and alfredo sauce back here behind this row of black beans I have cannellini beans, which are just white kidney beans and great northern beans um, And I use those for white chicken chili. Those are my favorite. Sorry, Riker came and sat my lap um, And then I've got cream of mushroom cream of chicken fiesta nacho cheese soup, which this is deceiving I have them double stacked. I probably have like 20 cans of the fiesta nacho cheese and cheddar cheese soup in there because I love tortilla soup and those are like staples that I need for my tortilla and enchilada soups. Um, I've got some, this is vegetable beef back here and then I've got rotel, green beans, corn, um, and then I just messed all these cans up earlier. But over here behind this I've got a couple rows here and over here. I've got two rows of crushed and diced tomatoes. Um, I have a random can of sweetened con condensed milk for like holiday cooking. Um, some green chilies. I've got tomato sauce, black olives, tomato paste. I always keep some jars of tomato paste on hand. I've got some um, pureed pumpkin. I've got two cans of pureed pumpkin. Um, canned coconut for like fresh pina coladas. Those are really good. Um, and then red enchilada sauce. I keep enchilada sauce on hand at all times because I also need that for my enchilada and, and chicken tortilla soups. And then up here I just have like dried beans, um, egg noodles, gluten-free noodles, regular noodles, panko, stovetop, and just like some miscellaneous things behind there. Okay guys, so that is what I typically keep in my pantry. Those are my go-to pantry 
items. I will more than likely do some kind of blog post on like my grocery shopping and my meal planning and what my like my stock like staples are in the pantry and in the fridge and have just like a savable PDF, like a pin that you guys can um, save over on Pinterest. It's so much easier to do it that way. Um, but anyways, all right, without further ado, let's hop on into the rest of the video and I'm going to share some really, really yummy recipes with you guys. All right, you guys, so the first thing that I typically do before I start my cooking or meal prepping or whatever it is I'm doing with food, I like to do my dishes first and I am showing you guys how I clean these applesauce packets. I got a lot of questions over on my Instagram as to how they clean and they're very easy to clean and I do have a bottle brush cleaner and straw cleaner on hand already. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. It's just from Amazon. It's like $5, um, but if any of the applesauce gets stuck up by like the mouth spout thing, I'll just use one of those bottle brushes and it's good as new. So anyways, I just like to start out with cooking with an empty sink and now that the dishwasher is working again, it makes it a lot easier. My life is so much easier now that the dishwasher is actually working. So after the dishes are done, then I will dive into some of my meal prepping. The first thing that I'm sharing with you guys is my copycat chipotle chicken. Now I think I've shared this with you guys in the past, but this is something that I will meal prep almost weekly. Um, and I get the um, skin and the skin on and bone and chicken thighs because they're a lot cheaper. Um, they're typically on sale and I can get this whole thing for like $5 versus if you get them um, deboned and then have them with the skins removed, it's a lot more expensive, like upwards of $12, $13 at my local grocery store and from Walmart. So like I said, after the skin is off and the bones are all taken off, um, then I will throw them into a bowl and I am just doing this entire flats worth of chicken all at the same time so that I have chicken throughout the week and I can use it in salads, I can use it in burrito bowls, in tacos. There's so many different things that you can use it in, but really the trick for the meat here is using chicken thighs instead of regular chicken breasts um, because it will give you the wrong texture. But you can use chicken breast if you prefer that over the dark meat. How I season the chicken, so now I will do avocado oil, um, lime juice, I do cumin and this like Fergalicious seasoning along with onion and garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, salt and pepper. Um, and then I will just do, uh, honestly I just eye it. Um, like I said, I have shared this recipe with you guys in the past. If I was going to guess, I would say about a half to a whole teaspoon of each of the seasonings and then about a quarter cup of lime juice and two tablespoons of avocado oil or really any other kind of oil you guys have on hand and prefer to cook with. And then I will cook that over on our smoker but you guys can also cook it in the oven as well. And this is what it looks like when it is all done. It's so good. It's my absolute favorite thing to have in the house for lots of different meals. All right, so here are the infamous applesauce packets that I keep talking about. Um, I am just filling them all up because honestly, we go through these so fast and they don't need to be like sealed and whatever. I'm not worried about them going moldy because we go through them so quick, um, which is why I am preparing them ahead of time because the past couple of days I have been filling them like on the spot when the kids want them. And it just was, it was getting to be too much work. So I am prepping them ahead of time so that I'm good for the next few days at least. Um, I would say that 10 packets would last me about three days, four days. Like I said, I used to go through two giant boxes of go-go squeezes a week, which was upwards of $20. So I do highly recommend these. They have saved me a ton of money and I'm so happy with them. Um, anyways, again, they're linked down below for you guys. So I'm going to finish filling up the rest of these and then I'm going to move on to the next thing on my to-do list. Next thing 
up on the menu for this week. I am doing some spinach dip for a healthier um, like snack to have in the house. I do have those reduced fat Triscuits and I am doing just regular mayo. You can do reduced fat mayo in here. Um, and then I am doing sour cream, which you can do a fat-free sour cream so that it's really Weight Watchers friendly. But I do not like the taste of the fat-free sour cream as much. So I will just like watch my portion size of this more so than like swapping out for a fat-free version of something. So anyways, but you can swap out for those fat-free versions. I just follow the recipe on the back of the um, Nor vegetable mix, um, like that packet that I showed you guys in my grocery haul. I will just follow the recipe on the back of the packet, which calls for eight ounces of water chestnuts. Now those are optional, but I love water chestnuts. Um, and then you add in a package of frozen chopped spinach, which you need to steam in the microwave and then drain it. Now I drain it and rinse it with cold water, so obviously the spinach is not hot and you need to drain the water out of this completely because otherwise your spinach tip is going to be watery and it's gonna be no good. So once you have all of your ingredients in there, mix it all together. You can also add chopped green onions, which are optional. Um, I did not do that this time because I didn't have any on hand, but this is the best homemade spinach dip ever. It's my absolute favorite and you can even stuff it into a little bread bowl shaped as a pumpkin and have a little charcuterie tray with like all the fun things for Halloween in October. So moving on to the next recipe, I have um, a really quick and easy um, shrimp taco recipe. So I will take um, raw shrimp. Now that is the key here. Do not buy your shrimp cooked if you plan on cooking it. I've seen so many people make this mistake. Um, you will have really rubbery, dry, teeny tiny little shrimps by the time you're done. You wanna buy them deveined and then tails off, but raw. Um, and then I will put them in the pan with just like a teaspoon of avocado oil. They really don't mean much. Um, and then I use shrimp seasoning and I use garlic salt, chili powder, and paprika. If I'm doing the chili powder and paprika, it will only do if I'm doing shrimp tacos. Um, but the other two seasonings are typically what I season my shrimp with all the time. Towards the very end, I will add two tablespoons of butter and then stir it around until they are completely done. And ta-da, you have the most amazing shrimp for shrimp tacos. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk Just a quick cleanup of the mess that I made while I was cooking and I'm going to show you guys the kids version of tonight's dinner. Mike and I are having shrimp tacos. The kids are going to have sliced Granny Smith apples, sliced cucumbers, and then I am doing their cheese melts, which is one of my go-tos for them. It's one of their absolute favorites. I try not to do it all the time because it doesn't give them all the nutrients that they need, but when they do have it, I like to fill out the meal with a fruit and vegetable um, so that I know that they're getting a nice rounded out meal. But this is a kid-friendly, toddler-friendly uh, meal that goes over well in so many households. Without water along the sun so grow.
I will typically do like four or five shrimps like per taco. Um, I think I did like six in these, but then you can top it with like shredded cabbage, pickled red onions, those are my two favorites. I didn't have either of those on hand, so I just kind of did a Mod Podge of things I have. The staple of the shrimp tacos is the chipotle mayo sauce that I make. If you guys have missed that recipe in the past, I will leave a link to the video down below for you guys with that recipe because it is the bomb.com. It is my magic chipotle sauce that we put on everything and it makes every taco but especially with shrimp tacos now my two favorite things with shrimp tacos as well are lime and cilantro and boom okay guys that is gonna wrap it up for me today I hope you enjoyed this get it all done with me lots of cooking and meal prepping all of the things in today's video in relation to food. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to October in spooky season. All right guys, I will see you tomorrow for a motivational Monday, okay? Bye you guys.